So on the onset, anything that brings women to parity with men, I will support. <laughs> Regardless of who brings it or how it is brought, because like Obama said, you cannot win a game if you are playing with half of your team outside the field. You cannot have a team of the first 11 and you field six men and leave out five women or field five women and leave out six men. You must have a team. We've just come out of an election in which women candidates recorded one of the best performances in the history of elections in our country. We now have 102, if I'm not wrong, 102 women parliamentarians domiciled in the Senate and in the National Assembly, 63 of them newly elected. The elections also ushered into office seven women governors, the highest number so far. Further, the polls yielded 727 elected and nominated women MCAs out of the 2,156 MCAs presently serving in county assemblies. This feat continues to be celebrated across our political landscape, having been realized against numerous intimidating odds arrayed against the women candidates.